up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to day 11 of 3D printing. If you've been following along with me, we're now starting to get in some basic troubleshooting of simple prints. And the first one is, that is a really, really easy fix, is called ghosting. Now, ghosting, I've got on this camera down here. Ghosting is when the print does not have a uniform look to it. You can see this hole right here. The feature of it is kind of repeated several times and we have this wavy texture on the surface. If I were to turn this 90 degrees, you'll see that our layers look really clean in this direction, but we have the same issue of ghosting on this way. So this tells me that one of my directions is not printing correctly. One small fix, and here's the next print. You'll see that we fix that problem right away. All right, so what's the problem? You got three axes. You got X, Y, and Z. One of your axes is off. Now, you have to figure out which one it is based on how you print it on the plate. So this one is printing like so on the plate, where this is the X direction, this is the Y, and then up is the Z. So this tells me my X direction was printing incorrectly. So let's hop over to 3D printer and see where that problem is. Just doing a very quick look, I noticed that the X tension belt was very, very loose. So we just fixed that really quick by twisting the knob on the right hand side until we have, I would say, a comfortable amount of tension. Now, I don't think there is a perfect number here because your belt actually has some mat mat bands on the inside to prevent from overstretching. So what I typically tend to do is I just tighten it until it feels just about right. There's a very little bit of play in the overall belt, but as you can see from the first print to the second print, we're able to fix it up right away. All right, let's talk about tools. Now we have a couple different varieties of spatulas when it comes to taking your print off of the plate. The one that first comes with an Ender 3, if that's what you got, has a thinner version of this. I don't like it, I threw mine away. Instead, I replaced it with this one, which has a thicker piece of metal with a beveled edge. That beveled edge is like my favorite part about this whole tool. Because if you get a scraping kit from Amazon, I think I got the same from Amazon, but this is just flat pieces of metal with no beveled edge. And watch me struggle getting the this uh, print off the plate using these versus this. Now, I don't have a video clip of me getting this off of the plate uh, because this is just kind of off, off a recent um, video clips being done, but I really struggled trying to use these new ones. Now, there is one saving grace that I do like about them. So, if you're only going to get one, do this one. If you're going to get this one, and then also having the, the accessibility of the other ones. So, like, what I really like about these longer ones is as long as you get, once your print is starting to peel off the plate, if you really need to get down deep, you can with these longer ones. But as far as starting to get the print off of the plate, this is the winner. And then these other ones kind of kind of help as auxiliary ones if you're interested in purchasing them. But I still I still absolutely absolutely recommend doing this one. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me struggle getting these other prints off of the plate. But in any case, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. You guys are awesome. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.